up, you guys? I'm Mike Donovanic, and today I have a killer hit workout for you. All you need, your body, obviously, set of dumbbells and a mat. If you don't have a mat, don't worry about it, but pick dumbbells that work for you. I'm gonna suggest medium dumbbells. I'm gonna grab them right now, and we're gonna get started. So, grab those dumbbells, bring them right in front of your hips. We're gonna start off with dumbbell swings. Hips go back, pop it up. Hips go back, pop it up. So, on this move, really important, it's not a squat to a front raise. All right, I really want you to drive those hips up. Squeeze those glutes at the very top of the motion. Keep that core tight and engaged the entire time. Really feeling those hamstrings, those hips. Nice. Every single rep, squeezing that butt even tighter. Getting full extension in the knees, in the hips. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna wrap those weights onto our shoulders. In five, four, three, two. Rack those weights around your shoulders. Drop down, single arm press. Drop down, press. Down, left, down, right, down. Left, down, right. So make sure you inhale on the squat down, and then exhale as you drive up. About five seconds, we're gonna start to double it up. We're gonna press both weights overhead. In three, in two, next one, both up. Perfect. So now, we've been hitting those legs the last 90 seconds. I'm asking you to keep pushing just a little bit longer. Really drive those weights up like you're gonna throw those weights straight through the roof. Still continuing to get low in that squat. We have about 10. Yeah. Six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold the weights overhead. Right here. Bring the feet in slightly. Connect those weights. Right in our overhead tricep extensions. So, right here. I wanna keep those knees slightly bent. Pull those abs in tight. Bring that weight down low so it disappears behind your head. Drive it all the way up to full extension. All the way down, all the way up. Again, you wanna exhale on the effort. So as you drive up, exhale, inhale on the way down. Right here, this is your act of recovery. We've been hitting total body the entire time. So right now I really want you to just feel it in your triceps. Keep those elbows tight to your ears, making sure you feel every single rep. Nice. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna throw a little surprise at you. In five, four, three, two, you're not done yet. Hold it halfway down. Ooh, I'm gonna make a burn. Start to pulse it right here. Pull those elbows in tight. Hold it strong. It's burning. I'm sweating. You should be too for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and whew. Shake those arms out. Drop one of those weights. Pull the other weight in your left hand. We're gonna step out to the right. Bring it down. Row. Press it up. Down. Row. Press. Down. Row. Press. Down. Row. Press. So good. Now, if it's too much to balance, if I bring that leg up, you just have to tap that leg down, all right? No big deal. But at least give it a shot by pulling that knee up, being really strong in that row, in that press up, getting super low in that side lunge. Feel 
feeling the glute of that right leg, feeling the inner thigh of that left leg. One more seconds here, staying strong. Yeah, 10. And eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. And nice to be done. Shake it off. Now bring that weight to your right hand. Step out to the left. Bring it down. Row. Press it up. Down. Row. Press. Again, keeping those abs tight the entire time. This time, we're working the glute of our left leg, working the inner thigh of our right, working our back in that row, shoulders that press, core is working overtime. About 20 more seconds here. About 15 more seconds. Let's finish this strong together. Press it up. Get two more reps here. Press it up. Last one. Nice. Check everything out. Hold that weight by both ends just like this. It's a spin on a new, it's a spin on an old move. So traveling wood chops from right here. Chop out, chop down. Right out, down. In, out, in, out. So, instead of just keeping this a static wood chop, we're adding a dynamic element to it by taking that lateral lunge side to side. Core still working just as hard. But now, we're able to get that heart rate up a little bit more. Strong in that chop. Really make sure you stop it on a dime. Right outside that knee. Don't let momentum carry you through and take control of you. Be in control. We have about 10 more seconds here. Let's go. Three, two, and oh. Woo. I'm gonna catch my breath. Right here, we're gonna take a front lunge with our right leg, punch out right there. I know lots going on. Bring it back. Tricep kick back. Other side. Punch it out. Bring it in. Tricep kick back. Out. In. Kick it back. Out. In. Kick it back. Boom. Boom. Pow. That's why I called these exercises. I didn't know what the hell to call them, so I just call them boom boom pows because it sounds like. And you might recognize this move if you've been watching my YouTube channel or my fitness DVDs. It's so good for your shoulders, your core, legs, obviously, triceps, everything's working right here. Oh. My arms are burning. Let's go about 10 more seconds. For five, four. So got one more rep each side. Last one. And whew. shake out those triceps from right here. We're gonna continue with that lunge, except we're gonna take it back into reverse lunge. Big sprinter's lunge right here. Two bicep curls. Other side. Big sprinter's lunge. Two bicep curls. 
Make sure you're getting low in that lunge every single time. Make sure you're squeezing those biceps as tight as you can every single time. Now, what's important to remember here is you keep that back straight, all right? Don't let that back round. So, you're gonna really need to pull those abs in. Ultra, ultra tight. Not just super tight, but ultra tight. Let's finish off about 20 more seconds. Biceps are burning. Making sure you're getting full extension every rep. Let's finish off two more reps. One more after this. And nice, shake those legs out, shake those arms out. Next move, I call bust them up. So we're gonna start in full push up or plank position. This is your chance to get some aggression out. So from right here, jump it in, press it up. Punch, two, three, four, down, back. Jump it in, press it up. One, two, three, four, down, and back. So, think of whoever kissed you off this week. And uh, take these punches out on them, on that, whatever has got you down. Be aggressive with those punches, all that power originate through those hips, through your core. We have about 20 more seconds here. I want you to make these last 15 seconds as strong as you can. Get those last few items of aggression out. One more rep. And, oh, woo. Now, right here, bring those weights down. You're done with those weights. Our last move is gonna be a hand release push up, turn into a burpee. So, bring it down. Jump it back. Chest all the way down. Hands shoot to the side. Bring it down, press it up, and clap overhead. You ever this? Last move. Let's hit it as hard as we can. Let's go. Down, back, push up, hands off, down, up, and clap. Now, if you need to modify this, Jump it back on your knees, push up, hands off, drive it up, then finish the rest of the move just as I'm doing. But if you need to modify the push up now or at any other point in this, feel free to modify. We got about 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Let's finish off three more reps. Three. We got two more. Two. And. Oh. I'm breathing hard. I hope you're breathing hard. I hope you're just as sweaty, if not sweatier than I am. Amazing job. Give yourself a hand. I'll see you next time. Amazing job, you guys. Remember, for more free full length workouts, be sure you subscribe to the BeFit YouTube channel and my YouTube channel at MikeDFitness, or you can Google me, Mike Donovan. And be sure you check out my website, MikeDFitness.com as well.